So this is my review of the DB Power Hawkeye One quadcopter with camera. That's this guy in this box here. Uh, comes nicely packaged. There's uh, multiple layers, multiple layers of these plastic and uh, things that slip over each other. It holds all the parts together. Um, so it's packed nice, nice and neat. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate too much about how this thing flies. I saw some other reviews where folks were flying much better than I do. I'm still learning. So um, anyway, and plus it's a super, super windy day and the weather's been bad here the past week or so. I haven't been able to get outside with this thing, but I've been flying it inside and, um, you know, struggling a little bit just because my house is a little tight. So anyway, I just wanted to show you some of the items that come with it and how they attach because attaching is a tricky part. Um, the instructions that it comes with are very helpful, um, but there's some little tricks that I've learned um, on how to put this thing together, and so we are going to go through that. Um, when it when it, when it arrives, uh, it does not have these um, blade guards on it. Uh, you have to put these on, and these are a trick in themselves. Uh, there is right. Right here, you'll see a slot that um, this slips into. I'm going to show you that in just a second. And you got to be a little careful with these guys because they they will break the um, little clips that hold them in. And you got to use a little bit of force to get them off, but um, still you have to be careful. Let's see if I can get that off. As you can see, the the pressure it takes to to take those off is is pretty. There it goes. So you'll see right here. You've got these little little um, pins that stick out, and those fit right inside of here. You can see that, and. They snap in these little little hook hook like things right on the end here. Uh, see if we can find something to point with, but yeah, let's use this little guy. <clears throat> You'll see right on the end here. There's these little hooks. Those little hooks um, snap into place after you slide this on. So I'm gonna try to do that without damaging the blade. But you'll see it slides on fairly easily. But once we get to the point where they have to snap in, I just kind of lift it up and twist it just a little bit and get one clip on, lift it up, twist just a little bit, get the other clip on, and just kind of rock it back and forth until I get them both in. Um, you're going to feel like you're going to break it. Um, you're not really going to break it much, but you do have to be careful of those little hooks that you don't snap off that little plastic piece because those hooks hold these on. <laughs> Now, that same theme happens with the other parts that it comes with. You'll see there's wheels um, that come with it. You'll see that this guy has big wheels, but you also have um, these little wheels um, that come with it. And these little wheels are two pieces. This one just snaps in, comes already uh, separated, and you have to snap them together. Um, but You'll see here, these have those little clips on them, just like in the other, the other thing. So if you wanted to use the wheels, um, you slide those on exactly the same way as you slide these guards on. Uh, the big wheels are a little different. Uh, you'll see in the center here, you've got a, a slot right in the middle here. And that's where this axle goes, and you'll see this axle just fits right in the middle here, pops right in, and then you can take your big wheels and uh, put your big wheels on and um, use it on the ground. Now, um, I was playing with this on the ground, and I'm going to put on the end of the video uh, my attempt to fly it and also using this on the ground. I didn't use the big wheels, I did use the little wheels. Um, there's some little tricks to it. Um, there's a lot of features 
with um, with this unit and um, uh, let me just kind of show some real simple simple features um, in the back here is where the battery goes um, slide that in you can plug it in and that's how it turns on so once you plug it in you'll see the lights go on there we go so now you'll see it's in and the lights are on and you'll see it's flash blinking It's kind of like a Bluetooth sensor in a sense but when you have the controller and you turn your controller on the first thing you're gonna do um, before you do anything else as you see these blue lights blinking as you take your paddle here you go up hold it and down and now the two are synced and you'll see now once I um, move this throttle up and I can fly this thing here. I'm not going to because I'm in a really tight space right here um, some of the other features on this controller is you got this button here for your camera um, you've got this button which is, takes pictures and this button here is for your video and you'll see let me unplug it maybe you can see it easier <clears throat> the camera is right here it you can't move the camera adjust it or anything it's a fixed camera um, so when you're using these wheels we're probably using these as well your camera is aiming at the floor so you're really not going to use your camera much when you're when you're using this on the floor but there is a camera in there uh, there's an SD a micro SD card that comes with it and I put that in here and it comes with this USB adapter and it comes up already in, inserted in here so when you open up your package you'll see that guy there um, you pop it out and when I first looked at this it almost looked like the SD card goes down straight down it doesn't uh, you'll see a slot right here the SD card goes in sideways so you want to make sure you line it up sideways and there's actually a picture of the SD card on the bottom of the unit so I'm going to put that in snaps in and now it's not going to pop out. Uh, so to take pictures, you got to have that card in there, and um, you can use the controller uh, for taking pictures. Uh, the other, the other thing this controller does when you have your wheels on, um, you push this red button and hold it down for a moment, and what it does is it puts this into what's considered a driving mode, a floor mode, and that floor mode allows you to drive this around the floor using these blades. Uh, there's no gears or anything like that. It's all all um, propeller driven. So um, it acts like a little hovercraft in a sense as you're floating around the floor. It's kind of cool. It's a little hard to control on a wood floor. I tried that and these wheels are really slippery. Uh, a little easier to control on a, on a carpet floor. But um, so you do have that mode. Anyway, um, those are some of the key points I wanted to show about this unit. Um, it, it's a really fun unit to play with. Um, they do advertise uh, that you can buy um, the uh, extra batteries for it. And um, if you look up above where the Amazon listing is, you'll see a, a listing, or at least a battery number, B00HS5YG4. And that's these little guys. I got a... Um, I think it was a five pack of them for 15 bucks. So um, you you can also buy a charger for these and plug them all in at one time and charge them at one time. Um, I haven't got that yet. I did order it, uh, but I did order the batteries and I'm just charging them one by one right now. The battery does last maybe you know depending if you're taking video pictures and stuff five to ten minutes ish depending on your um, activity that you're doing. So it is really helpful to get extra batteries. Um, anyway, um, so that's my review of the Hawkeye One from DB Power, the quadcopter um, multi-use guy. I really am having fun with this, trying to learn how to use it, and I'm waiting for a day where it's not so windy and it's not raining and I can get outside and fly this out in a field someplace. So anyway, thanks for watching.